Podcast. So that's it, how it all began, how I got an implant. I bite into a croissant. <laughs> After my tooth broke, I made an appointment with my dentist. I have a dentist since 2006 here in Japan. And even when I lived in Dubai and New Zealand, I always went to him during holidays or something. So I made an appointment. I went to my dentist. My dentist told me that he has to take the tooth out. It's totally broken and it can't be saved anymore. And at the same time, he found out that the upper tooth, so this was a lower jaw, and here at the upper side, the last tooth has to get out as well. The root broke off, but this is already maybe two or three years ago. It happened in New Zealand and at that time I went to an emergency room and they told me I can keep tooth. But I told him at that appointment, because usually I don't go for appointment, I only go for when I have emergency, I go to the dentist, that this tooth is also shaky. And he said, oh, we have to take it out as well. And then he said, how about an implant? I can... And I told him, yeah, well, it seems to be very expensive. However, I thought about this before. When I get old, if it's possible, I want to have an implant. A friend of mine in Singapore, she told me that she lost a tooth in front when she was younger. That time she got an implant and I was very surprised that she did this. You couldn't see that she had an implant. Already at that time I know, oh, I will get also an implant one day if this is possible. So I immediately basically said yes. And he said, okay, well, the procedure is this has to heal. This one has to heal. And in two to three months, you will come in again. You will make an appointment and we see how it's healed and we will measure the bone if it's possible to put an implant in okay we done this so a few months later i went there and he said we can do an implant uh, at the lower jaw but the upper jaw not possible because the bone didn't recover from the inflammation what i had apparently a few years he said he can see the nerve and he can only drill in a certain amount he and he explained me in this it was just in his office we were sitting at a desk so not in the examination room where i usually see him he said he can do it we should make an appointment i will show you the invoices i told my husband about it and we worked it into our budget for the whole year because it's a quite a big amount of money and we had to save a little bit in advance which you actually can because from the day they tell you you need an implant until the wound is closed up and they measure the bone because usually you have some inflammation and something uh, is not right there it takes some time so maybe two to three months and you can save already money and then another thing is once you get the appointment that you can do it it's maybe within a month you make only partial payment for for that operation i think it was three hundred thousand at that time He said he has to make an appointment with the nurse. She has to oversee the anesthesia, which is only locally, meaning the gum. Then open up the gum, drill in a hole into the bone, put the implant in and close it. And then I have to wait another two months approximately and the closer the appointment came the more nervous i was because it's very scary if you think about it um 
somebody drills a hole into your jaw. That's scary. Anyhow, the day came, I was super nervous, sweaty hands whatsoever. Lying down and it was really scary, the whole setup. I was covered with a huge cloth, green cloth. Only my mouth, the doctor could see and I had two or three nurses in, plus the doctor. That was a scary thing, I tell you. But anyhow, it didn't hurt at all. I assumed after that I have a very big swollen face. Nothing happened, nothing. I had no pain. I believe I got antibiotics at that time. Yeah, but I had no pain, nothing the next day. It was just this feeling that I felt sick because I, got, I had this operation, but nothing happened. So it was all sterile and clean and yeah, pain-free. So I waited another two months. When I came into the examination, the next time, two months later, he could open it up, to screw it out. And that was a funny feeling, this very uncomfortable feeling, but nothing. And then we prepared for the actual crown. So you have the white porcelain teeth, uh, what people actually can see when I speak. Yeah, perfect. It looks better than any other teeth in my mouth, I have to say. And I will go this year and will change. I have an amalgam. Um, it takes time. Now I have to go all three months to the dentist to see if everything is fine. My uh, teeth cleaning routine changed a little bit because I, instead of just brushing my teeth and cleaning it with floss, I have little brushes so I can go between the gaps between the teeth or better uh, between my implant or under my implant. It's actually not between the teeth, it's more under the teeth that uh, everything gets out. I, it's, it only happened, but it's actually very clean, school, but nearby. you have to clean it differently than usually. Yeah, it looks very good as you can see here on this picture. I'm very happy with it. At the end of the day, I pay half a million. There will be a series of right turning lanes. Yeah, and that's the whole story about my implant in Japan. It's perfect, it's clean looks great and I think this is very important when you live abroad that you have a doctor you trust if uh, I know a lot of people have their doctor still in Germany when they left for two three years and then they're going back and making all the appointments so everything is done well in Germany and that's also one option but for me um, I'm married to Japanese so for me it's like um, this is has to be my home and I want all my base here otherwise I'm too much torn apart yeah and reason I think if you saw one of my last videos regarding uh, speaking Japanese there this doctor even uh, uh, he, beside English he has an assistant or, or some connection with the German community and someone speaks German there so whoever is not fluent in English well you can go there someone in the office speaks German absolutely perfect well uh, I want to speak Japanese <laughs> to make it very clear <laughs> yeah yeah happy very 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 happy about this ah now I missed my turn nah, never mind I have to drive for only 45 here because there's a lot of police controlling this street and this is normal street and it's 40. Also there's a lot of forest around us. Maybe you can see this here a little bit. I have this implant now since May or June with the crown on it, yeah? I have no problems. If you're interested in my dentist, then please write to me privately. I can give you his address. I don't want to make advertising for him, but uh, therefore I don't put it here directly into the uh, YouTube video. It's in Yokohama, by the way. So that's it for today. 
please like, share and subscribe and thank you for watching. Thank you.